For as long as we've looked up, the Milky Way has been our cosmic hometown, a misty river of light winding across the night sky, silent, ancient, familiar. For centuries, we've imagined it as something we could almost picture, a great spiral of stars, perhaps a hundred thousand light years wide, rotating gracefully through the void. But now astronomers say that map may have been wrong. Our home galaxy, the one we thought we knew so well, is larger, stranger, and far more alive than we ever imagined. Recent studies powered by telescopes like Gaia and James Webb have revealed new clues hiding at the very edges of the Milky Way. Faint stars, ghostly gas, and ancient clusters that stretch our galactic borders outward into the dark. It turns out that our galaxy doesn't end neatly at some fixed distance. It fades, softly, like a campfire's glow in the night. The light of its stars drifts far beyond the edge we once drew on our maps. And this discovery changes more than numbers. It changes what home means in the universe. Imagine trying to draw a map of your own house while trapped inside one of its rooms with no windows. That's what it's like for astronomers trying to measure the Milky Way. We live inside it. We can't step outside and take a picture. Instead, we have to rely on faint hints, the flicker of distant stars, the pull of invisible gravity, the whispers of radio waves that slip through cosmic dust. For decades, scientists estimated the Milky Way's size at around 100,000 light years across. That's a mind-bending distance, but new data suggest our galaxy may reach farther, maybe even twice that size, when we include its dim outer arms, its halo of scattered stars, and its envelope of dark matter. How do we know? Because our instruments are finally sensitive enough to see the unseen, Gaia, a European Space Agency satellite, has mapped over a billion stars in 3D, charting their positions, movements and distances with breathtaking precision. What Gaia found surprised even the people who built it. Stars that shouldn't exist where they are, drifting at the edge of the known galaxy, far beyond what we thought was the Milky Way's border. The galaxy, it seems, doesn't stop, it fades. And in that fading light lies a record of its history, how it formed, grew and collided with other galaxies across billions of years. The outer reaches of the Milky Way are not empty. They are filled with ghosts, the remnants of long-lost galaxies that the Milky Way devoured eons ago. Astronomers call them stellar streams, faint ribbons of stars stretching across the sky, each one the shredded remains of a smaller galaxy pulled apart by our own. These cosmic fossils tell a violent story. Our galaxy was built through collision and cannibalism. Over billions of years, it has swallowed dozens of smaller companions, growing larger and more complex with every feast. And that story continues today. Even now, the Sagittarius dwarf galaxy is being torn apart, its stars spilling into the Milky Way's outskirts. Each torn fragment becomes another thread in the great spiral tapestry, extending our galaxy's reach into the dark. The new research that revealed the Milky Way's true size isn't just about measuring distance, it's about understanding how we came to be. We are, quite literally, children of galactic collisions, made of atoms forged in the fires of stars that once belonged to other galaxies. The Milky Way isn't a rigid wheel spinning through space. It breathes, it bends, it warps. If you could see it from above, if you could rise far beyond its stars and look back, you wouldn't see a perfect spiral. You'd see something more alive, a galactic disk twisting slightly, as though caught in a slow cosmic ripple. For a long time, astronomers thought this warp was a trick of perspective, but new measurements show it's real, a vast undulating wave across the outer disk, likely stirred by the gravity of smaller galaxies orbiting nearby. Picture a pebble dropped into water, the ripples spread outward, soft and smooth. Now imagine that Pebble is the Large Magellanic Cloud, a dwarf galaxy that circles us like a moon too distant to see. Its gravitational pull tugs at the Milky Way's rim, raising one side and dipping the other. This living motion tells us something profound. Our galaxy is not an island drifting silently through space. It's part of a family, a dynamic, restless system that changes shape with every cosmic interaction. And as it bends and breathes, its edges stretch farther than we ever guessed. Beyond the shining spiral arms lies something even larger, 
something invisible to the naked eye. Astronomers call it the galactic halo, a vast spherical cloud of faint stars, ancient star clusters, gas, and the mysterious stuff we call dark matter. It's not a boundary, but an atmosphere, an unseen extension that may stretch hundreds of thousands of light years into the void. Until recently, we didn't realize just how immense this halo might be. New observations, combining Gaia's star maps with X-ray data and computer simulations, suggest that the Milky Way's halo may reach nearly two million light years across, brushing against the halo of the Andromeda galaxy, our nearest giant neighbor. That means, in a way, the outermost envelopes of our two galaxies are already touching. Two giants connected in a dark embrace long before their bodies collide billions of years from now. And within that halo, faint stars orbit silently, relics of ancient galaxies long absorbed. They drift like cosmic fossils, preserving the memory of everything our galaxy has ever eaten, everything it has ever been. So when we talk about the size of the Milky Way, it's no longer a single number. It's a story that extends outward, layer by layer, disk, warp, halo, dark matter, fading into the infinite dark. So how big is the Milky Way? That depends on what you count. If you measure the bright disk, the region where most of the stars live, it spans roughly 100,000 to 120,000 light years. But if you include the outer spiral arms and the halo, it may be nearly 200,000 light years across. And if you trace the invisible web of dark matter that surrounds it, the true gravitational footprint could be more than a million light years wide. That's one galaxy, one home, a single swirl in a universe of two trillion more. When astronomers updated these measurements, it wasn't just a technical correction. It was a shift in perspective. We used to think we lived near the edge of the galaxy, roughly 26,000 light years from the center. Now, as the map expands, we find ourselves deeper within, not fringe dwellers, but inhabitants of the middle spiral, surrounded on all sides by more stars than we can ever count. It's like discovering that your hometown is not a small village on the frontier, but part of a vast, glittering continent. And suddenly, home feels bigger than the mind can hold. The Milky Way did not appear fully formed. It grew slowly and violently over billions of years. In its youth, it was a smaller, messier collection of stars and gas. Dwarf galaxies drifted nearby, some destined to merge, others torn apart and swallowed. These mergers delivered fresh material, stars, gas, even entire star clusters, feeding the Milky Way's growth and shaping its spiral arms. The outer edges, now stretching farther than we imagined, are like scars of these cosmic encounters. Some stars wander in unusual orbits, remnants of past collisions. Others form streams, faint ribbons tracing the paths of galaxies long absorbed. Even today, growth continues. The Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy, a companion orbiting the Milky Way, is slowly being torn apart. Its stars spill into our galaxy, joining the outer halo in a slow, silent tide. This is a galaxy alive, not static, a creature of gravity and time constantly remodeling itself, its size expanding as it eats, bends and swirls. What we see is only part of the story. For every star that shines, there is a shadow we cannot see, dark matter. This invisible substance forms a halo far larger than the visible stars. It is the scaffolding on which the Milky Way hangs, the unseen weight that keeps the spiral arms from unraveling. Dark matter stretches beyond the bright disk, far into the outskirts, silently dictating how stars move and how galaxies merge. It is not light, not heat, not sound. It is presence without substance. And yet, it defines the true size of our home. When astronomers factor in this invisible halo, the Milky Way's reach becomes almost unimaginable. It is a vast, gravitationally bound cocoon, holding not just our stars, but the ghosts of countless ancient companions and guiding their orbits through cosmic time. In a way, the Milky Way is bigger than we are capable of seeing, and it has been so all along. The story of the Milky Way's size is a story of perspective. Before we measured from inside, through dust-limited instruments and assumptions about structure. 
Now, telescopes like Gaia, James Webb and others give us new eyes, infrared and precision mapping that can pierce the veil of interstellar clouds and measure faint stars in the far reaches. These observations reveal the full tapestry, a bright spiral core, a warped breathing disk, streams of stars from devoured galaxies, and a halo stretching into the unknown. Our map of the Milky Way is no longer static. It is dynamic, growing, breathing, and much larger than we imagined. And with each new survey, each new measurement, our place in the universe changes, not physically, but mentally. We live in the middle of a vast, majestic swirl of stars, connected by gravity and history, embedded in a dark halo that extends far beyond what our eyes can see. For the first time, we can say with confidence, our home is bigger, more intricate, and more alive than we ever dared to imagine. The Milky Way does not end where the light fades. Its outskirts, the farthest reaches of stars, gas, and dark matter, stretch like a quiet ocean, vast and uncharted. Here, the motions of stars tell stories older than our sun. Some wander alone, relics of smaller galaxies long devoured. Some drift in faint streams, weaving through the invisible halo. Even at these extreme distances, gravity binds them to our galactic home. This frontier is a reminder that the galaxy is alive on the largest scale, shaped by forces both visible and invisible. Every star, every orbit, every tidal ripple is part of a cosmic dance that has been going on for billions of years. When we study these regions, we are not just mapping stars. We are tracing the history of the Milky Way, a history of growth, collision, and survival. Standing on Earth, we feel small. The night sky is immense, the stars innumerable, the distances incomprehensible. Yet the more we learn about our galaxy, the more it feels like home in a new way. We are not at the edge of the Milky Way, lost in some thin spiral arm. We are in its midst, surrounded by billions of stars, wrapped in a halo of history and mystery, part of a living structure that spans hundreds of thousands of light years. Every atom in our bodies was forged in stars, some from the galaxy's core, others from its outskirts, and still others from galaxies that the Milky Way consumed long ago. We are woven from its history, orbiting within its gravitational embrace. In discovering the true size of the Milky Way, we also discover our cosmic lineage. We are not outside observers. We are participants in a grand story of light, gravity, and time. The Milky Way is larger than we thought. Its edges reach farther, its halo spreads wider, its history is deeper. But numbers alone cannot capture it. The beauty of a galaxy is not in light years or kiloparsecs. It is in the story it tells. Of stars born in fire, spirals twisted by gravity, dwarfs torn apart and folded into the disk, and dark matter quietly shaping every motion. It is the story of creation and destruction, of collision and growth, of time so vast it humbles the imagination. And it is our story too. We are children of the Milky Way, made from its stars, gazing out at its light, seeking to understand our place within it. As we redraw the map of home, we are reminded, the universe is bigger, stranger, and more magnificent than we ever imagined. And even in the heart of our galaxy, there are mysteries yet to discover, stories yet to tell, and light yet to reach our eyes. The Milky Way is our home, vast, alive, and waiting for us to explore it in both body and mind,